In the third and fourth bars of our minor blues chord progression, I want the bass line to move up. And whenever you've got two chords in a chord progression that are a fourth away, for example, A to D, which is what we actually have in this case here, because we'll be moving from an A minor chord in bars three and four to a D minor chord in bar five. So the interval distance between the A and D is a fourth. So a great musical device that you can use is the ascending tetrachord line when you want to create a strong bass part moving up that connects two chords that are a fourth away. And essentially it's quite easy to do. All you really do is if I'm starting on an A, the next note is a tone above. That means it's two frets above that first note. In this case it'll be a B. And the next two notes that we're going to play are going to be a semitone apart. So for example, I'm going to start off A. Next note's a tone above A, so that'll be B. Next note's a semitone above B, which will be C. Next note's a semitone, so it's C sharp. So the formula for an ascending tetrachord line is tone, semitone, semitone. Here's how it sounds. A, B, C, C sharp, and the next note would be the chord that I want to arrive at, which is D. You can hear it really creates a lot of tension. We're wanting to hear that D. A, B, C, C sharp, D minor. there's a number of ways that we can create ascending tetrachord lines. For the purpose of this video I'm going to focus on the ascending tetrachord line with an added half step. Essentially the natural habitat of the ascending tetrachord line is 3-4 timing. That's where we have three beats in each bar. And as I said earlier on this video if we had a chord progression where the root notes of the chords are a fourth apart uh, for example, in this case here, if we're moving from an A minor chord to a D minor chord, so that means we're moving around the circle of fifths in an anti-clockwise direction. If this was an A minor chord, and in our blues the next chord we wanted to move to is D minor, you can see that if we created an ascending line with the notes A, B, C. If that was in 3-4 timing, the next note that we would arrive at would be D, if we're moving in an alphabetical manner. And I'm treating each minor chord as being in the Aeolian mode. Now, of course, the problem is I really need to have four notes for this to work in 4-4 four -four timing. So this is where we include the semitone at the end of our three note tetrachord line. And we'd add the C sharp. And actually in the blues progression that I'm using on this video, I want this ascending tetrachord line to cover two bars. So what I'm going to do is get each note to ring on for two beats. I'm going to make the A two beats, B that's one bar, and the next bar I'll have the C ringing for two beats, and then C sharp. So there's my ascending tetrachord line using the formula of tone, semitone, semitone. So we have our ascending tetrachord line, and we've added the half step, or the semitone, at the end of our three note tetrachord, which creates a two bar ascending tetrachord line if I let each bass note ring on for two beats. Now that we have our strong ascending tetrachord line, the final step is to put some chords over our strong bass part. So now I'm not going to play the first string or the sixth string throughout this whole chord sequence, so I'm just going to play an A minor, play the fifth string A from my bass note. And I'm going to play a B diminished seventh chord and use the B bass note 
on the fifth string. So I'm playing the fifth string, and I'm playing the remaining three notes of the diminished seventh chord, the fourth, third, and second string. The third chord is an A minor with the C bass, so I'm using my fourth finger to play the C note on the fifth string. And the last chord in our ascending bass part progression is I'm going to use a C sharp diminished seventh chord and again playing the bass note on string five. Then strumming the remaining three notes of the diminished seventh chord. And you can hear that chord is really wanting to resolve to some other chord and uh, the chord it's going to resolve to is our D minor chord. I'll just play that progression through. A minor, B diminished seventh, A minor with the C bass, C sharp diminished seventh, and then the D minor chord. Let's review the first four bars of our minor blues. In the first two bars we have the bass line moving down and then in the third and fourth bar we have the bass line moving up. Let's have a listen to the chord progression so far. One, two, three, four. And it moves to D minor. 